Let's learn about Ohio's gymnosperms. Gymnosperms have seeds, but they're not enclosed within an ovary. The most numerous gymnosperms worldwide are the conifers in the coniferophyta. There's a couple other small phyla of gymnosperms, ginkgo and cycads and something called nitophytes that are peculiar desert shrubs, but the conifers are the prevalent ones. There's a lot of misunderstanding about conifers. The major misunderstanding is the tendency to call any needle-leaved evergreen a pine, any cone a pine cone, and pine is just one of about five or six genera of plants in the pine family, and there's other conifer families too, cedars and yews. But um, this little product from the local gas station, it's got so many errors, it's funny. So to begin with, notice it says royal pine. Well, um, it's probably artificially flavored, but I don't think it smells like pine. But irrespective of that, here's a picture of something that's obviously not a pine because it's got leaves that are attached singly and pines have leaves that are in clusters. Clusters of five, clusters of three, clusters of two. And um, these don't look like pine cones especially either. This is a picture of a spruce. I can tell it's a spruce because the needles are attached singly and the cones are pendant. Spruces are kind of common and they kind of smell like cat piss. They're not the kind of thing you would want to make a little air fresh and eww, a desodorant, an aromatizante out of. Oh, look, it's a one pack. What a great deal. Ooh. And um, what this probably actually is, in terms of the fragrance, um, would be a yew. I'm not, not a yew. Why did I say that? A, uh, a fir. Furs are, 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 are fragrantly pleasant, pleasantly fragrant. And, uh, but they have upright cones. Um, which, by the way, disarticulate on the tree. You won't find them on the ground intact. Um, so, yeah, um, this is wrong. Kind of funny, though. But there's something special about pine reproduction that is so cool it deserves a mention. And that thing is that pine reproduction takes two years. Um, and the first year, um, pollination takes place. But the female gametophyte that gets, pollen, that it gets eventually fertilized by that pollen in the pollination process hasn't even been born when the pollination is happening. It waits a whole year. So let's take a look at this diagram. So, so the pines, uh, um, like most conifers, but not all, are, are what are called monoecious. They have uh, male reproductive units and female reproductive units on the same tree. So the tree is, has both sexes, but the sexes are separate on, on, the, on the little branchlets. So they're male cones that produce pollen, lots of it, yellow dust, blown all over the place, kind of annoying. And um, what happens is it gets wind blown to um, uh, an ovule, which is at the base of, a, of the scale of what eventually will become a pine cone, you know, female pine cone, seed bearing cone. And what we have is, um, it's the, 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 the little opening here to the ovule is kind of sticky and the po pollen gets attached to it. But notice on this diagram, there's a cell here, one cell, and it's a diploid cell. It's not an egg. It's not a multicellular thing. It's a cell that will give rise to a spore that over the next year, um, oh, let me show you some pics. Um, hold that thought. Um, here is a picture of some pines growing uh, on the Marion campus of Ohio State University. Here is male cones um, that they produce the pollen. And while we're here, let's take a look at these cones. These are one-year-old female cones. They're not the woody cones that have opened or are opening to release seeds, but they're not teeny teeny either. Last year, these cones, last year, these cones looked like this. So this is the, this is the, the female cone in its first year. And pollen blows into, uh, onto these cones and and gets attached to a little sticky resiny substance and stays there for a whole freaking year. And then when the pine cone is mature enough so that the female gametophytes are mature, that's when fertilization happens, not till a year after the pollen gets delivered. Whoa, that's so weird. And these are the pollen, uh, excuse me, the seed cones on the ground. I didn't see any on the tree. So here's some more pictures of that. So a year later goes by. This illustration doesn't make it plain that a whole freaking year goes by and then we have 
um, a gametophyte with eggs and sperm fertilizes the eggs that produce uh, a zygote and eventually develops into an embryo with some seed, uh, some food rather, and a coat. Um, it's not enclosed within anything. It might just be at the base of a scale, but it's not enclosed by that. It's not a fruit. It's a, it's a naked seed, and that's pine reproduction. It takes two years. The first year pollination takes place. The second year fertilization takes place. Whoa, that's really neat. So there are a number of different um, conifers in Ohio. Um, about a dozen. I should probably have counted them and let you know the details before launching into this um, lesson. But um, some of them are pines. Um, so some of them uh, are not native to Ohio, but they're planted an awful lot. And while we don't have a particular interest in cultivated plants, for the gymnosperms, some of the ones that you can see as planted ones are also ones that are super, super important ecologically in areas that are part of our general region, like the Northeast and the Appalachians. And so even though, well, to put it um, directly, Ohio doesn't have any native spruces, frowny face emoji, that's sad, or firs, frowny face emoji, that's sad, um, and it's not, you don't have to travel too far to see them. And um, you'll also see them planted an awful lot. So we're going to learn um, some gymnosperms, including a few that don't quite make it in Ohio because they're really important ecologically and they're, they're something we should all know about. So let's look at some Ohio and, uh, native and cultivated conifers and identify them with our field guide. 